In today's video, we're gonna be talking about two of the world's biggest WordPress theme builders out there, and that is Elementor versus Divi. Now, just to let you know, I've been using Divi for about five years. I've been using Elementor for about one, and I've got my pros and cons for both of them that I'm kind of excited to share with you. And if you're on the fence of deciding which one's right for you, this video is perfect for you. I've been using them for a very long time. I know exactly the things that you're gonna face. So that's gonna be good. Now, we're gonna be covering a lot of different topics on here uh, things like pricing features modules speed um, as well as things like community and all that sort of fun stuff plus I've actually created a few uh, blank websites I've just installed the themes got the pages ready to go just to show you a few things that might put you off one of them uh, ma might make you favor the other so it's gonna be a really fun tutorial um, I'm gonna stop talking about it and I'm gonna get straight into it so I'm gonna jump behind the screen and I'm gonna get into it right now Okay, so here we are behind the uh, screen. I've actually got the two websites here live right now so you can see what they look like. Um, as you can see, this one here is the Elementor as well as this one here is the Divi Visual Builder. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into those in just a second. There's a few other little details about each company I wanna go through just before we get into it, right? So Elementor right now, uh, according to builtwith.com, has about 2.6 million active sites on the internet. So that's a load of websites. Websites. Uh, Divi has about 1.9, I believe. Now, Elemental has a few more, but you've also got to remember they have a free pricing plan. So, uh, technically, there's probably a lot of free members compared to paid. I'll talk about that in a little second. Um, it's just to give you an idea of how many people actually use these awesome tools. Second is the price points, right? And I'll go straight into the price points um, so you know what to expect. So, this is Elemental. As you can see, for one site, you have to pay $49 per year. For three sites, you need to do 99, um, and for a thousand sites, 200 a year. But we'll just we'll just focus on the one for now. So 49 dollars a year. Something to think about compared to uh, Elegant Themes, which is 89 dollars a year. So it's a little bit more, but you do get unlimited websites, um, and you also have the option for lifetime access for unlimited websites. So it's really cool. And the difference is, as well as getting the Divi theme, you do also get extra Bloom and Monarch. And what they are is. Uh, Extra is actually a magazine theme and I do use it for different uh, websites I own and it is extremely powerful. Bloom is a uh, pop-up widget that you can get free as well as uh, if you get Divi. And also Monarch, which is a sharing plugin, extremely, extremely powerful plugin. Um, so that's a sort of little bonus there. So if you're thinking about building just one site, um, potentially Elemental might be the better one for you. Um, if you're only you know, pretend, trying to use it for maybe a year or a little bit longer, in the long run, it's definitely better to get the lifetime access as Elemental doesn't actually provide a, uh, a lifetime thing. So that's something to think about. In terms of who wins, in terms of pricing, I do believe Divi wins as they have a uh, lifetime access. Uh, pricing plan which I have taken and I don't regret one second I've built hundreds of websites with it so that's really good but then once again if you've only got one website to build $49 a year isn't so bad so I think Divi wins in this but Elementor is not too far behind now in terms of visual builder I'll just quickly go enable these both these visual builders so you can see um, how they sort of work and what sort of functionality you can expect to face when you uh, use these particular things. So first of all, here's the Elementor uh, Visual Builder. Now, as you can see, um, you've got all your different modules on the left side, right? And then uh, you've got all your sections and everything inside of here. Now, if I click on uh, all the different elements here, you can see uh, all you have to do if you want to add one is click on it and drag it in. Um, and you can see with the blue line, that's where it's going to go as such and then if you want to edit it click on the little pencil and it's going to give you some different options on the left to adjust it right so you've got h2 h1 um, you've got your text all here and then you can style it with your colors your you know fonts everything like that and then on advanced you've got things like padding margin and all that sort of good stuff it will take a little bit of getting used to if this is your first theme builder it's not such a big deal but when compared to something like Divi, uh, I've been using Divi a little bit longer. It could be my uh, reason for saying this, but it just feels like it's a little bit easier, right? So let's say I wanted to change the padding for this particular thing. I've got to click on it. I've got to click on um, the pencil. 
got to go to advanced and then I've got padding right here and then you've got to play around with it until you see something you like. While in Divi, all you need to do is hover over the area that you want to change the padding and you just click on it and move it up and down to wherever you want, let go and it's done. So in that regards, in terms of padding and sections and things like that, I do think Divi is a little bit easier to use. Um, that's that's just my personal preference, I believe, but I personally think it is Divi wins in terms of visual building, just because you can see it. And you've also got all the different layouts right here if you want to see them as well. So my personal opinion, Divi wins for visual building. If you don't mind this type of layout, that's completely fine. Um, this is also very, very, very functional, right? So uh, that's the visual building. Uh, I'll might as well go over elements while I'm here as well. So over here on the little um, the little nine dots, this is where all the elements are. So you've got all your basic elements here. You've got all the pro elements as well, like forms, login pages, flip boxes, all that sort of stuff. Um, which is really good and Elemental has actually got more, I've, I've written it down in my notes, they've got more elements than Divi does, right? So Elemental has about 90 elements um, and Divi has, I think, just over 40 what they call modules um, and you can see them over here. So you've got all the basic ones you'd, you'd need. Um, you'd, you'd really find a time where you don't have the right module for the job, um, but in saying that Elemental has a few extra ones, like it's got Facebook pages that you can embed in here, like the like buttons, that sort of stuff. Divi, you have to add a special plugin for that or add in a specific code. Um, apart from that, you know, there's, there's nothing else too much that sets them apart. They're both extremely functional themes, um, but slightly edged to Elemental as they have few more modules. Right, what's next? Pre-made layouts. Now, Elementor has, I believe, 300 layouts. Yep, 300 pro layouts there. And I believe Divi has over a thousand. So it blows it out of the water, um, which is really cool because you do use these templates quite often. I can actually show you the Divi ones right here as I have them loaded. Um, it'll just take a second. And these are, uh, so you've got almost 1200 layouts that are constantly getting updated. And this is 162 different complete websites as well, right? So you can pick and choose whichever ones you want, or you can choose the entire websites. And they have one pretty much for every niche. Uh, I keep getting emails every couple of days of a new entire layout pack um, for specific industries. So that's very good uh, in terms of the layouts for um, Elemental, you know, they've got everything you need as well. Um, not quite as specific as Divi does, but they still have, you know, more than enough websites um, to check it out and to use for your own, you know, needs. I'm not going to get too much into it. If you want to have a quick look where they are, uh, they're in template, template library. And here's the sort of different layouts you can get. Both of them both the layouts and both companies look amazing. I have to admit, they both look amazing. Uh, Divi has a few more niche ones, so Divi gets the check for this one, uh, which is very really cool. And also, um, just before I forget, the pricing as well. Uh, Elemental, you can have a free um, pricing plan. You can get a membership for free, but the only issue is you can't actually use pro modules, right? Um, you just get the basic ones. So this has got 50 pro modules. I think you get 30 basic modules using the free builder. So just before I forget about that. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about is community, right? So um, before I get into community, actually I talk about support because it leads into community. So if you ever have an issue with Elementor, they actually only have an email only line which apparently is pretty slack and can take a couple of days to get back to you. And it's a little bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie, just because if you have a problem that you're trying to solve right now, um, you have to wait a few days to get it done, which is really annoying. They also do have a community, um, which is really strong. You know, as soon as someone get, decides on a builder to use, they there's actually quite a bit of um, community behind it and they're more than willing to help out. Uh, I'm in a, like four or five Divi ones with over 20,000 users and everyone is extremely helpful. Uh, I haven't been in the Elemental communities, but I've heard they're also really good. So if you're um, looking for a good community, both of the companies have good communities. The only difference is Divi has a live chat feature. So you can talk to these guys live. It's really, really powerful. And they do get back to you really quick. Most of the times I email in with an issue, I can get it 
uh, resolved within a day and they'll also uh, have something in the back end which is called support center login I think it's called and what happens is they'll actually go in the back end of your website find the problem that you're facing and then they'll tell you how the how to fix it or um, they'll fix it for you and I've done that also a few times so they went that little bit over and beyond so once again Divi gets a little check for that so that's really cool just letting you know um, the next thing we'll talk about is WooCommerce. Now, WooCommerce is becoming more and more popular because more businesses are coming online. Uh, and the great thing is both builders, both Divi and Elemental, both have WooCommerce add-ons for each one. So if you do decide to use uh, to use WooCommerce, you can customize the look and feel of it uh, using the, the uh, module layout editors and all that sort of stuff, so that's pretty good. Apart from that, I think that's pretty much the main things that you're going to face. Um, personally, I struggled with the builder once again. So the uh, drag and drop builder in Elementor. It was just a little bit clunky for my needs, right? So you have to line things up, drop it in. If you want to change the heights, you have to play around with the styling and stuff. It was a little bit clunky, right? I, I personally love the feel of the drag and drop editor of Divi. Um, that's what I think you'll find. I do believe Elementor is actually that slightly bit faster. Um, if you do a speed test on the default sites, they're about the same. They're about 500 milliseconds um, or thereabouts, depending on your hosting company. So it's not a major difference. I just felt it was a lot easier to optimize a Elementor website compared to a Divi doesn't mean it's impossible it just means it's going to take a little bit more effort um, but apart from that I think that's all that really matters like all that other stuff it's it's good um, but when it comes to it I think you know it all just comes down to personal preference if you're going to be editing and building things all of the time um, it's entirely up to you how you want to do it I just like the ease of use which for me is this sort of thing like looking at what it's actually going to look like on each device being able to customize it and drag and drop it instead of actually having to you know play around with little settings and things uh, that's why I personally like Divi but if you are looking for a SEO speed machine um, then I would definitely recommend check out Elementor. The free version of it's actually really, really good. The only things you're gonna be missing out are things like opt-in forms, email subscription forms, things like that. Um, they don't seem that powerful right now. You could just need to build a website, that's fine. Um, this website here is actually really impressive. If I just um, close this, I'll just click. If I just go into here I actually really like the look of the pages right and this is just a completely free layout it's really cool um, but if you are serious about a website you will definitely need to get the pro features one day um, it does make the website just that little bit more functioning and functionable so that's entirely up to you but once again I think it all comes down to ease of use and pricing uh, that's why I decided to go with Divi uh, I almost did buy the Elementor yearly uh, 1000 website plan, which is like $200, uh, but I decided against it and I went back to Divi for majority of my websites. So that's just my personal two cents. Um, let me know in the comments of this video what you guys believe. But before we go, I'm just gonna jump behind the camera and I'm just gonna finish this off. Okay guys, once again, that is Elementor versus Divi. It was the head off for the WordPress theme builder. I personally like both of them. If you're looking for speed, potentially look for Elementor. Elemental Pro is extremely powerful in terms of things like schema, as well as speed and optimization for the website. Um, if you're looking for ease of use though, look at Divi. Divi is so easy to use. What you see is what you get. Uh, it's just that little bit easier with the drag and drop editor. Plus they do have more layouts. If you're creating more than one website, you know, it's really handy to have that all there. Anyway, that's the review guys. That's the sort of little battle I had. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and got something out of it. Um, I know for me personally, I'm a Divi man through and through, but Elementor is still really good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, if you've liked this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscription button if you want to see more awesome videos and I'll see you on the next one.